Where we are, we are at the Open Air Matawa, at the center of Soweto. It was built in 1974 in honor of Ernest Open Air, the German Jewish who came to South Africa uh, at the age of 22 to come and represent this firm in the Diamonds Field of Kimberley. He managed to organize a loan of three to six million pounds for Johannesburg City Council to build 20,000 houses here in Soweto. Because of corruption, they end up building 14,000 houses, the one that we call the matchbox houses. There are two types of work permit that they will issue in the day. There was a B1 and a B2. A B1 is when you stay in the camping sites and you walk to your workplace by foot. And a B2 is when you stay at the workplace working as a domestic worker. Towards 1958, after the establishment of Sowento and Midlands, at least 50 to 500,000 people claimed Soweto as their homes. By then, Soweto didn't have the name. They used to call it, according to the camping site, mainly using Africans or slavery names. In 1994, when we made research, we found that originally the name Soweto comes from the black journalist by the name of Tessa Pesali, who passed on in the year 2018 as a layman as a person who was so poor, has never been honored by the government himself, who managed to give an Indian lady the name Soweto when we were sitting together in a bar, having a bottle of whiskey so that she can enter the competitions. Reason being, our people, our black people those years were never allowed to be part of the competitions. That is why black people in those times were hated the name Soweto. They never liked the name. According to them, they wanted to call Soweto Sofa Sonke City because of James Sofa Sonke Mpanza, our father in Soweto. The man who managed to suit up and fight for the black person who comes to Soweto, a man who comes to Johannesburg looking for a job to have a toilet in Johannesburg. At the same time, he managed to take some part of the land by force in Soweto and give it to those who never buy the homes, mainly the women and the families. The founder of Orlando Pirates, when they say, Es Gama Kepula, Es Kepula Mkabagama Spalang and Khan, they speak about the parents' men, James Mpanza. 